I got to be the first one in line tomorrow. Well, this is a little different for me. <laughs> At least. <laughs> but it's, <laughs> we're waiting for a permit. So Lee decided that we should sleep at the uh, <laughs> Wilderness Center. So here we are, and here's Lee. <laughs> hang on a second. If you want a permit. Hang on a second. Hang on, I gotta get some light on you. <laughs> if you want a permit, you can go to the permit office. And this guarantees, without a doubt, we are the only one and the first ones here. So in the morning, they will give us a permit with great honor and pleasure. And yeah, sometimes you have to do crazy things to get crazy um, results. So if it's closed, you wait till they open. It's actually rather comfortable, I have to say. I've slept in some places over the years, but this probably takes the cake. My People do this at Christmas time at Walmart, for Christ's sake. Why is it any different? Right? I agree. I highly recommend this spot. It feels good. Sunday, June 16th, 5.33 a.m. And Lee's enjoying her Sunday morning. And no one told her to move her bag. Her sleeping bag. And it was still, and it was still, first in line. They're probably freaking out that we slept on the porch here. A few people f looked at us pretty funny last night. You can see their faces right by the light. That light there. They rode their bikes, walked by and thought like, what the heck? And even one person said, dedication. And uh, Yosemite Falls, because we were hiking from El Cap, and there's a spot that got low land, and we ran out of bug spray, and that caused us to end our trip early. That's, That's the how fastest bad it was. mile we ever did. The hit. fastest mile we ever did uphill. Wow. <laughs> Fully packed Stop. out, just running. <laughs> Yeah, it's like they tell on the street, there's flies here. Really? This is our salute in my country. <laughs> we just do this all day long, you know? Look at flies. It's like, it's just a normal thing to do. <laughs> Who's leaving today? Who's leaving tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow, tomorrow? tomorrow yeah. yeah. Today. today? To little uh, Yosemite Valley. Okay. And do half time. All right, we'll check on that. Uh, for those leaving tomorrow, we, you know that uh, we start issuing those permits at 11, 11 a.m., right? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. okay. So, right. it's, so for tomorrow's permits, we can't we can't get until 11. That's right. Okay. So we just okay. stay here and wait and stalk you for a few more hours. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here. Um, You've already done 75% of the time. Before everybody goes in there, I want to go over some quick leave no trace things just to knock it out. All right. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to leave so tomorrow. So this is um, a pass through permit, which means that you must um, and then we're gonna pass to Lily Summer Valley with Corey Camp the first night. Okay. And then yeah. stay somewhere between Clouds Rest and Lily's. We're going to head out by like Clouds Rest, Sunrise area, our first night. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, are you going up this way? Yeah, we're doing the whole jumping game. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, you at least have plenty of water sources. Can you get this loud fork? Yeah, we're yeah. looking forward to that. That's beautiful. Uh, That's one of my favorite parts. Part. Which one? Which one? Loud Canyon. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she was talking about that. I think I'm going to take a bunch of photos, you know? Oh, yeah. Wow. Nice. It's going to be good. Make it in that day. Bears so that come down there and damage the car, you think? Yeah, she yeah. those pictures out right there. Oh! That's what happens. You know, to get all the food out of there. Um, well, have you guys got a permit for this? Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, back in 2013. That's my favorite. That's a great one. Oh, my God. So, this is the parking there? Yeah, that's in the park. Um, park no, where are we parking? Uh, it could oh, be. It could be. I don't know. Wow. Camp show. Yeah. They know where to go. Camp was one of those places. Oh, that's cool. Get the food out of there. I'm sure. I'm sure.
Thanks, guys. Thank you. We'll come back and say hi to you. All right. Thank you. We'll stay in touch. We'll get you. We'll Facebook you. That's good luck. Yes. All right. Oh, <laughs> we'll go check out Michigan. Yeah. Do it. Do it. West Michigan. Okay. We'll, we'll do the Facebook. Thanks. Got our permit. Yes. Lee and I are gonna go weigh our packs. Let's see what the bad news is. <laughs> I believe mine is 43 pounds. Yeah. Lee, you got 42 pounds. What? Yeah, I carry whatever you carry. <laughs> but you're a quality. <laughs> Even though you're 30 pounds heavier than me. <laughs> Give me the bad news. 44 pounds. I think that's, yeah, that's like 44, 44 pounds. I was going to say, yeah, 43 pounds. 44 pounds. 44 pounds. It says right here, body weight. How many pounds do you weigh? 147.2. 147. At least 147, so it should be... Should be lifting right around. Oh, you can weigh it. Oh, mm -hmm. Thirty-five pounds, so it's just like eight pounds over. That means it'll be it'll be thirty-seven by the time we get to VBR. Yeah. I weigh one seventy pounds, and if I get forty-five pounds on my pack as my weight, I'm right on. Lee is actually lifting uh, more than she should be for her body weight, but they never gauge it on strength. They don't realize Lee's like, she has a big punch for 147. 135 by the time we're done. That's right. Oh my god. 50? 46. 45 and a half. 45 and a half. Let's see. Let's see. 45 and a half, almost 46. Oh, you don't beat me by much. So, I'm like half a pound and a pound. See, I'm right here. I weigh about between 160 and 180. If I proper maximum weight for 160 is 40 pounds for a pack and 180 is 45 oh I weigh 170 so my pack should be 42 and a half I'm at four, so I'm like about three three and a half pounds overweight <laughs> but it's okay Lee and I train in a weight room for the past few weeks so we should be all right what do you think it's our last it's my last crunchy meal. I'm going to be eating mush for the next 24 days. Which means I don't really need teeth anymore. What are you having, actually? Salad. I'm having a pastrami sandwich. And it's not that good of a sandwich. It's ridiculous. Seven fifty for this it's like the bread's been stored for a couple of weeks, not wrapped. Eat it, stop complaining. <laughs> Man, this... didn't think it was going to be this difficult to park the car. <laughs> it's summertime in Yosemite, yeah. darling. Yeah, I guess we're, uh, there's no such thing as a backpacker's parking, so, uh, what we have to do is go through this one campground here, walk a couple hundred yards, drop off our backpacks, our tents, and go back to the car and park it uh, away from this campground at park the car at the Prairie uh, Village parking lot. And 
set, set up, walk, take the shuttle back here. So what they're really saying is the backpackers are the bastard children. Yep. Uh, the nature, true nature lovers who take the time to get out there don't get a fair deal. They're already going to walk 221 miles. They don't want us to load up 200 yards. It's all right to warm up for tomorrow. I'm cool with that. That's why I want to do it now where it gets too late. I oh, know, it make me look bad. <laughs> That's so bad. You've used this before, right? Huh? You've used it before, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're a real hiker. Oh. All, all this hardcore backpack is going to think we're like, what's the matter with you? You have a blow up bed. Good night.